Hi guys, Balash here from WPCookhouse.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to get a Google Tag Manager code. So it's a very easy process and it's completely free. Basically we are here in Google, I just typed in Google Tag Manager but I'm going to include the link in the video description below. So just go ahead and open this page. This is the, the Google Tag Manager website and you need to click sign up for free. This is your first time set up. Here you need to provide an account name, which might be your company, your personal name. This is a personal account for me, so I'm going to type my my name. That's my name. And you can choose whether you want to share your data with Google. This is an anonymous share, so it's just basically just uh, they can evaluate how people use it. I'm, I'm fine with that. Then click continue. The next step you need to set up a container. I assume you need to use it for your website like to store your Google Analytics code or something like that. So basically go ahead and type in your domain here. I'm going to type my, my domain here and choose whether you want to use for a website, in my case, or an iOS application, Android application or an AMP site. So just go ahead and click create. Of course, you need to accept the Terms of Service agreement. Just go ahead and click Yes. Of course, you want to read it before. And now you're good to go. Basically, these are the codes that you need to install in your website. You need to provide those codes in every page of your website. But if you're using a WordPress site, I have a better solution. Just go ahead and open your WordPress site. and click plugins add new and basically this is the plugin that we're going to use Duracell Tom's Google Tag Manager for WordPress and just go ahead and type in Tag Manager for WordPress here and this is the first one Duracell Tom's Google Tag Manager for WordPress just go ahead and click install now it takes a few it takes about a few seconds and your plugin is uh, installed then you need to click activate and once you click activate it says to start using Google Tag Manager for WordPress please enter your GTM ID GTM ID is your Google Tag Manager ID so just go ahead and click here and go back to your Google Tag Manager site and you can close this one, you don't need this one and this is your Google Tag Manager ID, it says GTM dash whatever, you just oops, you just copy this one like this and come back here and just paste it here like that you can choose between these four options and basically it depends on if you want to tweak your website or not. I recommend you try the, the, thir the third one, the codeless injection, which doesn't require any tweak, but as it says, it could break your front, front end. It usually doesn't, but if, if you have any problems, you just go back and, and choose the footer of the page, which is not ideal, but it will work. So go ahead and click Save Changes and check your front end so check your website basically click here open link in new tab and check if your website is working or not my website's perfectly working so i'm happy with that so basically that's it your google tag manager account is activated your google tag manager is installed on your website you need to add tags to your container and you need to con and you need to publish your container in order to work. I'm going to publish another video about how to install Google Analytics on WordPress and I'm going to show you how to add the Google Analytics code here in your tag manager and how to publish your container here. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give me a like that helps me a lot. Subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching.